Welcome to the Bean Life channel where we are working to reuse instead of throw away. And today what we're reusing are Prius battery cells, the high voltage cells. Those ones where it goes out and you got to replace the whole battery. Or not. You could try and limp it along and replace different cells. But the real problem there is how do you test them? So there's lots of ways you can test them, right? Charge and discharge, find out how much capacity they have. You can test the resistance of them and see what they are. You can just check, check the voltage of them when you pull them out of the car and see if one of them's at six volts instead of 7.6. So today, if you've made it this far, you probably know that those methods don't seem to be all that reliable. So today I'm gonna to show you how to current test them, load test them. So this is gonna be using a high amperage uh, load tester and then measuring the voltage as you're load testing to see if any of these cells fall flat on their face under load because that's when these batteries fail. They don't fail when they're sitting there idling. So let me show you how this works. So this is our test bed here. We have one Prius cell clamped between a couple pieces of wood and that's because these are not cylindrical cells out of the Prius and if you try to charge or discharge while they are not clamped together, they will expand and become balloons. We don't want that. Up here, we've got our load tester. This is a load tester made for six and 12 volt batteries, probably typically used on lead acid batteries, like what you would find in a car or a UPS or something like that. And then what we've got here is a little RC charger. So this will charge nickel metal hydride, NICAD, lithium ion, lithium polymer, all those batteries, right? And we're using it for the nickel metal hydride charging capabilities. So here we are with the first battery. So we can see that it's reading at 8.31 volts. I'm gonna go ahead and start a 30 second timer and we're gonna put this load on and we will see after 30 seconds what voltage it drops to. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Just over six and a half volts. So let me show you loading up another battery in here and then we will try another one. And here we go for round two. Let's test another battery. Let's start this 30 second timer. Flip the switch. So you'll remember that the first battery got to about 6.55 volts or so before we hit that 30 second mark. This one is already below 6.5. It is dropping quickly. This one is no good. So that dropped below 6 volts before we even hit 30 seconds. So that's the kind of thing we're looking for. I would consider this battery bad. So let's, let's go ahead and try a third while we're at it. And here we go for battery number three. So this one's starting off at 8.2 volts. Let's get the party started. This one seems to be doing okay. Actually seems to be doing much better even than the first one. We're gonna stay above 6.8 volts it looks like. Yeah, very nice. So this one is, was a, uh, a good one, relatively speaking. One of those things where you really want to find out what normal is. So I would want to get all 28 of these batteries or in a camera, what is it, like 32, and charge each of them up and load test each of them and record all the values. And then you can come back and say, okay, of all these, uh, maybe three of them are outside of the, the mean, you know, and you can say, okay, I need replacements for those and then get your replacements and then make sure you load test those as well. Then when you rebuild the pack, um, when that thing is under load, they're all going to act very similar to each other. So that's the idea with rebuilding a pack. And my next project is going to be looking at a pack out of a 2003 Civic Hybrid. Um, and th that's one of those packs where I pulled it apart. I use these little uh, these little chargers to charge and discharge. Every single one of those sticks had about six amp hours of capacity, and they're rated for six and a half amp hours. They're perfect. So I was like, great, the pack's fine. I put it all back together. No, it's not. 
and it's the thing where it'll sit there in the driveway, it'll charge up the battery, it'll be fine. If you try and go anywhere where it tries to pull juice out of that pack, the whole car freaks out, say the whole car. The, the check engine light comes on, the IMA light comes on, and it's like something's not right. So you know that one or more of those cells are dropping too low in voltage when they get a load put on them. So I'm gonna take them all out here and I will charge them up and I will do a load test on them and find out which ones are really bad. And maybe I can just get a few replacements or maybe it's the whole pack that's bad and I need to spend 500 bucks on new cells. But this test should show me definitively what I need to do. Hopefully that helped you. If you like these kinds of projects, and it's not just for um, hybrid cars, but you know, I'm a homeowner, I'm a car owner and a uh, property owner, and I wanna get things done without having to spend a bunch of money. And I know that sometimes you've gotta spend your money, but if I can get away without spending the money, I will. And maybe y'all can find some ideas and share some ideas with me of how you get away without spending too much money. Thank you, hit subscribe button. I'll see you later.